Here I am in a small town called Micanopy, Florida. Chalaca Boulevard. Boulevard, huh? Okay, it is divided. This town goes way back to the 1800s. This looks to be like an early garage here. Notice the ferns growing on the roof, on the metal roof. <clears throat> and notice that the building is up on on pilings. It's got garage doors there. We have a looks like a log cabin type arrangement here. It's definitely logs. Gallery under the oaks. these big old oak trees. What do we have back there? 55 Plymouth Station Wagon. Wow, with a V8. Whoa. But a lot of windows are out. Looks like the windshield's still intact, but looks like the rest of the windows are gone. A lot of shame. It's a two-door wagon. Wow. No tail lights. That would be a no wheels. That would be a problem to restore. Antiques. Leonardo's or antiques. <clears throat> Here's an old garage. I would bet back in the day they may be sold cars here. Notice the houses are made of brick. Which in Florida was fairly rare. There's the garage. It'd be interesting if you could find the, what it said underneath. I got something here. Over on this side, J.R. Something, M.O.U. Could be Mountain, J.R. Mountain. Those are probably the original doors going into the place, but they were probably different. Type. They just replaced them with that period stuff. That's brick and stucco on top. Another brick building there. <coughs> There's Spanish moss for you, draped from the trees. Three-story brick building. 
there's the decoration at the top there. It'd be nice if there was a cornerstone here to figure out how old the building was. We've got decorations around the windows. In brick. I don't see any cornerstone. They've got some decoration there on the end. This is an entrance that's been enclosed. <coughs> Seminary Avenue. Huh. Another brick building here. <clears throat> and then there's a memorial marker over here. And those of you from Philadelphia will see a familiar name. Down here is typical of a nice Florida home from way back. Notice the porch, extended porch. And that's to keep the sun out of those windows. It's typical it may have a hallway going all the way back to the back of the house and rooms going off that center hallway. Cross ventilation. This is all before the days of air conditioning. Now yes, it's made of wood. Another house over here. <clears throat> and it has a nice porch with a swing there out in the porch and the other section is screened. And that one has like a turret. So there was some fashion here in the building of homes and Gee, that looks like maybe a metal roof that's been painted. Huh. Now here's an old place here with the... We've got three levels of porches. Lower one, middle one, and up top there's another porch. And we have a couple all on top of it. Plus it looks like there are attic rooms up there because there are more windows, row of windows up there, so that metal porch is screened, which is a good idea down here. And here's the marker and the familiar name, William Bartram, 1739 to 1823, great Quaker naturalist of Philadelphia, made a long journey through the southeastern states in the 1770s collecting botanical specimens. In May 74, he visited the Seminole Chief Cowkeeper at the Indian village of Cuscawilla, located near this spot. His book, Travels, provided the earliest reliable account of North Florida landscape, Florida and fauna, and Indian life. And his vivid images of local scenes inspired Coleridge, Woodsworth, Wordsworth, rather, and Emerson. And so then in the 1770s, this area was already explored. It would be interesting to know how he got here, because... The transportation was very limited over land. Most of it was using waterways. And notice with the sign devoted to William Bartram, his father was John Bartram, the noted botanist from England. Uh, he was botanist to the Queen of England before emigrating to the United States and a uh, high school in Philadelphia is named for John Bartram. He and his son did some uh, botanical explorations throughout the uh, uh, southeast. Here that, uh, that building probably was a hotel at one time, judging from the uh, 
uh, separate porches there and uh, probably constructed back in the 30s. The uh, overall feeling is uh, of uh, light and airy ventilation that you would really have to have, uh, especially in the summer when the heat would be uh, quite high.